Item number, SCP-746. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-746 is to be kept in a standard humanoid containment chamber at Site-66. Specialized bedding designed for SCP-746's anatomy is to be provided for comfort and be replaced every three months. When being transported, SCP-746 is to be provided with an appropriately sized wheelchair for mobility, then the use of its provided cane. It is to also wear a control collar and be supervised by no less than three armed guards. A Foundation translator fluent in Japanese dialects is to be made present to facilitate communication with SCP-746. Currently, SCP-746 is scheduled to attend English classes on Mondays. Wednesdays, and Fridays, with Dr. Kaya, along with receiving physiotherapy. Description SCP-746 is a sapient avian humanoid, standing 1.3 meters tall and weighing 38 kilograms. The entity's face appears aged and is a deep red, with a 28 centimeters long beak-like nose. Most of its body is covered in rough black feathers, the longest being on the forearms, shoulders, neck, and head. Currently, SCP-746 wears a specialized leg brace provided by Foundation medical personnel on its left leg due to suffering a permanent crippling injury. See Addendum 1 for details. Before acquisition of SCP-746, it was agile and capable of sprinting up to 11 kilometers per hour. It had also been observed to have acrobatic skill during attempts at capture by recovery teams. SCP-746 now moves at a significantly slow pace and requires a cane to aid it in walking. SCP-746 has complained of feeling back, shoulder, and neck pain, along with stiff joints. An X-ray of SCP-746 has shown several stress fractures. Physiotherapy has shown to be effective. These injuries were also acquired from its initial acquisition. SCP-746 is docile, though it has shown to be somewhat mischievous in interviews and before its containment. Due to its condition, it is not capable of performing any actual acts of mischief and is not considered an issue to containment. SCP-746 is fluent in several Japanese dialects and has shown minor knowledge of English. It has shown willingness to improve its English and thus far has significantly improved with provided classes. According to SCP-746, it had obtained knowledge of English when encountering American tourists speaking and had grown fascinated. Its diet consists of mostly seafood and vegetable leaves. The existence of SCP-746 came to Foundation attention on 4-23 after reports of pranks by an unknown entity caught on recordings at Tokyo, Japan. Two agents were sent to investigate and encountered SCP-746. For two weeks, SCP-746 had evaded capture before the event leading to its acquisition. Addendum 1 SCP-746 was successfully captured on 5-1 in the city of Kyoto, Japan. SCP-746 was being pursued by an instance of SCP throughout the city and attracted the immediate attention of nearby recovery teams. The SCP instance caught up with SCP-746 and swung its fist, which flung SCP-746 to a wall, to falling onto a car and to the ground. The instance then proceeded to crush SCP-746's left leg with its club as SCP-746 attempted to crawl away. Agents from Mobile Task Force NU-32, Peach Boys, assigned to the containment of instances, managed to save SCP-746 by distracting it as other agents rescued SCP-746. For further details of the incident, Please view Incident Report 746A. 
Below is an interview with SCP-746 in regards to the incident. Interviewed, SCP-746. Interviewer, Dr. Renfield. Forward. The following interview was originally spoken in the Tokyo dialect and has been translated. Begin log. Dr. Renfield. Greetings, SCP-746. Are you feeling well? SCP-746 speaks in English. Yes, it hurts less. Dr. Renfield. Your English is better than last time as well. Anyway, I am here to ask you some questions. SCP-746. Very well. About what? Dr. Renfield. Back in Kyoto. Can you tell me why the SCP instance was after you? SCP-746 begins to laugh. Dr. Renfield. Uh, 746? SCP-746 ceases laughter. Ah, the Oni. Let's see. I found it sitting under a tree in the forest and I spoke to it. I quickly learned it was a dumb one and its stomach was getting hungry so I saw a chance to do a trick to it. Snickering. Dr. Renfield. What kind of trick? SCP-746. Well... Smiles. I tricked it into eating dung. Laughs. Dr. Renfield. That's... disgusting. SCP-746. I know, and never have I seen such a foolish Oni in all my 700 years of life. It was steamy, and I told the fool it was Karanto. Note, Karanto is a sweet deep-fried Japanese snack food. Dr. Renfield. Gag. So, I'm going to assume that what happens next is that it grew angry. SCP-746. Yes, that is correct. That big brute was furious. Oh, the look on its face. It then stood up and swung its club to only miss me. Run I did, as fast as the wind, as behind me. I could hear the brute's roar and trees being knocked over. As I was making my escape, I stumbled upon a pond that I swung across from a branch and seconds later heard loud splashes of the fool falling into it. Come to think of it, I think it was the home of a family of Kappas. There were distinct shouts, but I didn't really know what was being said, for the Oni was coming, and I didn't have time to stop. Anyway, it was starting to catch up, and so I decided to try to make it dizzy by going around it in circles. The fool swung its club at every direction trying to hit me, and some were not even close. <laughs> Maybe it's wet hair got in its eyes, but it was nonetheless amusing. Dr. Renfield... Weren't you worried, though? SCP-746. Why would I? I was having the most fun at the time. There was excitement. Dr. Renfield. All right, please continue. SCP-746. Where was I? Oh, yeah. The Oni looked dizzy enough, and I continued on away from it. I was near the city and thought I lost it until I heard it roar again. It was starting to get tiring, and thought maybe I'll definitely lose it in this city. The wires and buildings helped slow the Oni as I went through alleyways and rooftops. People were also screaming at the sight of the Oni, which I don't blame. Not only was it dumb, but ugly, too. <laughs> uh, the rest of the story you already know, and leads me to ask, what happened to the Oni? Dr. Renfield, why are you asking? SCP-746. I was too busy being in pain and shock to see what happened. I'm just wondering. Dr. Renfield. We incapacitated it. That's all. SCP-746. Oh, okay. Well, just be sure to give it an actual Caranto for being the most fun I had in a while. <laughs> Although, I doubt it will trust anything that is Caranto again burst into laughter. Dr. Renfield. You know, that stunt of yours caused a lot of trouble. Several streets and property were destroyed, and our amnestic teams had to work hard to conceal the situation. It almost killed you and left you crippled. 
Was it really worth it? SCP-746 catches breath. Oh, yes. Dr. Renfield, even though you are no longer able to do any other stunts ever again, SCP-746, honestly, I had my years of fun, and I'm happy to have it end with the pleasure of fooling an Oni. So they say, speaks in English, out with a bang. End log. Addendum. 746. The SCP instance involved in the acquisition of SCP-746 has shown heightened levels of aggression and attempts to breach containment. The instance seeks to travel to SCP-746's location and poses a danger to Site-66 and SCP-746. Neutralization has been approved. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, Go watch SCP-745, The Headlights, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.